this is to welcome everyone to this the wonderful course uh, which has been put together by leading ent specialists who are experts in this field and i do hope it will help everyone i'm going to just share my screen go briefly over the modules and then dr shrinivas will share his thoughts about the importance of this course uh so as we the title is a comprehensive management of osc but an ent perspective so we'll go briefly over the faculty and talk about the learning outcomes the topics that will be covered and how and how to enroll and who should really enroll uh so we have dr shrinivas with us he is from the aig hospitals hyderabad um dr simab sheikh and dr rahul modi uh dr shrinivas has experience for more than 20 years he has done fellowships in sleep apnea surgery at the university of wisconsin and he is the immediate past president of the indian association of surgeons for sleep apnea Dr uh, Simab Sheikh is again an ENT surgeon with an experience of more than 25 years he is currently the HOD at the Inamdar Multi Speciality Hospital and the KEM at a KEM hospital Pune he is a founder and the national president of the Indian Association of the Surgeons of uh, Sleep Apnea and has been trained overseas Dr Rahul Modi is an ENT surgeon with an experience of 14 years uh, also has been a visiting faculty at the division of sleep surgery in the stanford and completed fellowships in harvard usa so we have the faculty who have come together done lot of brainstorming to think about the topics and the curriculum for this particular course so this is uh, you will get access to this curriculum which is uh, being delivered by all well trained and people and uh this will be a 10 weeks program meaning that you will get access to this program for about 10 weeks advantage being that once you enroll you can view this any time and at your own convenience and we will have an interactive session for you at the end of 10 weeks which will be communicated much in advance and you will get a e certificate i'm going to just pause a bit i think there's dr bridge uh, joining so snigda is he the one who has enrolled earlier no ma'am no ma'am yeah uh so then uh, dr bridge okay so we'll carry on then otherwise then so what were the expectations or what are the learning outcomes that we hope and or we do think that you should achieve by the end of this course is one to understand sleep because if we do not understand sleep is very difficult to understand the sleep disorders and also to differentiate the common sleep disorders uh, because when one treats a patient with obstructive sleep apnea one should understand all the other types of sleep disorders the focus will again be on differentiating the obstructive sleep apnea types and understand the different types of sleep disordered breathing pap therapy when to use and how to use and there will be a module separate module on the types of surgery so that you are confident in selecting the appropriate or the right surgery for the right patient and we have divided this course into different sections or modules the first one is to understand sleep and it will have further subdivisions about the sleep disorders second would be sleep apnea yes or no third is defining the severity in which you will learn about the diagnosis of sleep apnea treatment of obstructive sleep apnea is in two parts the non surgical surgical and we have another last section which would be how to understand the effectiveness of treatment or the outcome of your uh, treatment plans so who should enroll um, the course like we said has been particularly 
programmed and developed for ENT, but it is for all people who want to understand uh, sleep disorders and sleep apnea and the modes of treatment for sleep apnea. So anyone who's interested can enroll in this. How to enroll? Uh, you can write an email or you can call on this number and uh, Snigda will help you to enroll. But if you either go to the website and the website is also www.sleepmedicineinstitute.in it will give you clear guidelines on how to enroll. Uh, so the course, the initial, the offer final price would be 10,000 because if you see there are four faculty, multiple modules with lots of exact sessions, uh, but we had given an launch offer for a 30% off, which was till 19th and extendable till 21st. But looking at the pandemic and keeping in view, I believe the ENT surgeons are particularly busy. So this will be extended till the end of the month. So I do encourage people who want to avail of this opportunity uh, can enroll. Uh, so that's as far as uh, the brief information about this. I will now invite uh, Dr. Srinivas to say a few words and what does he think and how will this course help people? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. So at the outset, um, I would like to first of all congratulate you on coming up, coming up with such a fantastic uh, platform. For us, ENT is to sort of come together and uh, talk about uh, the approach to sleep medicine and uh, the management of this uh, condition, obstructive sleep apnea. And through the eyes of an ENT surgeon, I think that is, uh, and what adds more flavor is you sort of uh, coming in and, and putting, bridging the gaps um, because for us as ENTs, um, it shouldn't be understood that it's only just surgery. And that is exactly what this uh, particular conference or this meeting is all about. And, um, and also the topics that we have suggested and we've picked up and we're obviously going to have the uh, presentations on are particularly outcome oriented and evaluation oriented. So right from how the patient once walks into your clinic, whether first of all, you are going to evaluate whether this patient is actually a case of obstructive sleep apnea or some other coexisting sleep disorder. And that is a I mean, quintessential question. Then as they go through the, the course, the journey, they'll understand more and more about how you would evaluate the patient from an ENT perspective, what are the different kind of challenges that one would face? Um, because all the talks have been put together from a very practical, from a, from a patient perspective, from an ENT perspective. So I think uh, that will also be a, a very unique way of uh, uh, putting things forward. So pe for people who could attend this uh, course, they would benefit from that because a lot of ENT surgeons are very interested. They're very interested in the whole thing, but they just don't know how to go about it. And this is exactly what uh, the course is going to be all about. And also some troubleshooting in between. So where do you get stuck? So you've done a particular kind of an evaluation and you don't know how to go forward. And certain uh, aspects, are, are very sort of alien to an ENT. And for us to understand from you as to, you know, how would you troubleshoot these particular questions? And um, towards the end, uh, I think we're going to have a very interactive session as well, where people can actually interact and then uh, probably will be able to answer the questions. their questions at the end of the entire course. So uh, uh, also, I would like to bring in uh, certain topics we're speaking about, especially the importance of nasal surgery, the importance of uh, uh, CPAP compliance and how nasal surgery improves CPAP compliance and things like that. 
especially drug induced sleep endoscopy we have a uh, we have a long talk on that uh, so uh, and especially when we talk about drug induced sleep endoscopy we just not going to talk in very uh, in a very theoretical way we going to talk about how to improve and uh, select your patients which are the ones that are bad patients for surgery which are the ones that are good patients for surgery and what are the findings that one would uh, see um, this is i think uh, and also we have a, a, a special uh, sort of especially when you talk about ent surgeries people think it's all soft tissue but there is a lot of uh, uh, evidence that's now coming in favor of skeletal surgeries but that's again case selection is very important how you would select these patients for skeletal surgery and how you would follow them up and post operatively how they can present to you with problems these are all the uh, sort of different uh, points uh, to sort of summarize the entire course yeah thank you so much and i uh, truly believe that sleep uh, medicine and particularly treatment of obstructive sleep apnea is a multidisciplinary speciality and yes. uh, the patient needs to be looked at from all aspects and angles so that we can provide uh, you know the best care uh, mm -hmm. you know we just finished our interactive session uh, for the sleep medicine yesterday and it was you know we had dr aditi desai who is the president of the british academy of dental sleep medicine and she interacted with the students and it was really good because it's again these issues that people are interested but how to do it and how to go forward exactly. so i do hope uh, this will form a platform or at least a base for people to kind of uh, get into this more and especially with the guidelines and suggestions uh, i just wanted to say that um, after we discussed and did the brainstorming and you suggested that there should be something about cpap um, we made a separate subsection of like a cpap module in which i have told my team my staff the technical people sleep coach etc to prepare a very basic uh, information on cpap but a, it's like a module again so the people who enroll for this ent course um, so i was thinking that we will give them that as a additional offer because otherwise it's going to come as a separate uh, course by itself but the ones who enroll for this ent they will get a bonus of getting that as a free additional point as a the cpap course will come separately for them that's that's really good yeah so i thought you know because uh, cpap is is like a big box which uh, is is a box which they don't seem to understand and they get more and more nervous about it so she uh, the girl who's putting the videos together it will be discussing about the parts of the cpap the care the clean everything about the cpap but in a very like a workshop so it's exactly like a cpap workshop which will kind of get bundled with this offer so i think i uh, don't want to keep you away from your uh, busy uh, schedule today and i want to thank you um, and thanks nigda and thank whoever is here with us today uh, do spread the word and i do hope people will benefit from this sure thank, thank you. you very much thanks again to come out with a beautiful idea ma'am thank you very much thank you so much thank you